All right, hello everyone. I believe we are live. Yes, we are live. We have Lumpy Dog in the house, Peter Candy, uh, Jeff Rose Fish Keeping is here, Aquatic Maniac. Hi, Bob. Live in Washington, too. I live in Washington, too. Hello. Swiskey, what's up, my friend? You better be on tonight. We got to get some streaming on tonight. Peter is a premature sharer. Yeah, really backfired last week, didn't it? <laughs> uh, Trevor, how you doing? Um, meat man, formerly pork slinger. Hola, sup? Our aquatics. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right. <sighs> um, CM Harper, puppy love. Rockless Rocky. Oh my gosh. We have the sweetest name I have ever seen in my life. Master Betta. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. How come no one has come up with that name? That is clearly... This guy just... Where did that name go? Master Beta. How's it going? <laughs> you just won the internet, my friend. Hi from Canada, he says. Hello, Bob needs a favor. Just say the word. Oh, yeah. I guess I didn't name that here. Uh, so if you look in the description of this video, there is an old video of mine right there that for whatever reason, YouTube has decided to uh, like. It's got a couple thousand views in the last day, and it's an old video. So if you guys get some time, go back and rewatch it and comment and thumbs up and give YouTube more reason to like it. Master Beta, Master Beta has been, around, I'm going to say Beta, Master Beta has been around for a while. It's the first time I've seen that name. What's up, Master? Yep, I'm actually going to pronounce it wrong and say Beta just because that name. Master, Master Beta. <laughs> it's new to me, and that's all that matters. Gaddis Aquatics, hello. Polo Drive, hello. Um... Everyone's saying hello to everyone, so I don't even care if you leave this stream. Just go watch it. Just come back. What are we talking about? We're talking about anything and everything. Uh, it is Thursday. Thursday's open mic night. You guys drive the show. You guys are in control. So whatever you guys want to talk about, this is more of a general hangout with everyone than it is a fish live stream. Feeding hundreds of snails. Yep. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. I don't know why YouTube decided to like it, but all out of the blue, 2,000 views in the last day. You got me. How old is that video? September 12th. Bob, you can keep the goldfish. I will just take, take the tank. Yeah. Hmm. So I'm almost almost completely over being sick and through the whole sickness ordeal i got like the biggest zit ever i think i've had about two zits in my entire life uh bob did i did you get my emails um i did but i think i checked them when i was half asleep oh no there's a new one See, I haven't been paying attention to what's been going on lately. I thought you got these a while ago. I thought you got leopards a while ago, and you're getting zebras now. I guess you're just now getting leopards? I don't know. You'll, you'll have to excuse me over the last week and a half. I really don't know what's going on. Oh, yeah, I can see everyone clicking on that video. You don't even have to watch it. Just open it and let it run in the back on mute. But I'm watching the live analytics and it just skyrocketed again. So thank you. I appreciate it. Maybe something will come out of it. Maybe nothing. But it's kind of cool either way. I lost my chat. Here it is. Uh, is Doug here? Did I miss Doug? Nisi's here. I don't think I said hi to Nisi. Priscilla's here. Hello. 
Uh, ball and dangerous. People like to eat snails. Maybe you're getting popular in France. Maybe. Hey, Bob, should I do coral or fish only in the salt water? I know it's not normally... I know it's not what we normally do, but need some opinions. Um, I love corals, so I would definitely do corals. No. Uh, it's the Russians again. Hey, that, that's fine. I got no problem with the Russians. Let's get that sucker viral in a good way. <laughs> oh, a different Doug. Oh, uh, Doug, bald, bald and dangerous. Yes. Yes, I know. I do know that. Uh, which is better for a first bike? I would have no idea, but a Kawasaki 650 or a Harley 883. Um, for a first bike, I would go with whatever's cheaper because you're probably going to lay it down. That's my advice. Jeffro says, I watched it, liked it, shared it, and commented on it. That is awesome. Doug of the North is here. Hi, Doug. Oh, is he here? Did I miss him? I don't know. Uh, did you used to have any hamsters before? I got a hamster for my birthday. Her name is Moki. Way, way back, probably 40 years ago. I think we might have had a hamster. Maybe. I'm pretty sure we had at least one. Mr. Speaker Guy 44 with the $20 super chat. Hope you enjoy this, Bob. Thanks for all the great work you put in your videos. Thank you, Mr. Speaker Guy 44. Uh, we appreciate it. Is that your first super chat? I think it might be. Uh, the video has 43,000 views. Yeah, it did really good when it first came out, but now for some reason, uh, it's got a couple thousand in the last day. So. Uh, what are people so mean to Russia troll? Short Russian should be appreciated. Thank you, Mr. Speaker Guy, says Candy. Yes, absolutely. Uh, David Beckencourt's Aquariums is here. What's up, buddy? It's been a long, long time. Again, making your quarterly visit. <laughs> uh, Trevor says, I've never had zeros before. I was looking at some, but they wanted too much money. I've had leopards for a really long time. I just got two more today. Awesome. I saw the pictures you sent me, um... Was it yesterday? But I was like, I don't know. I was under the influence of a lot of medication yesterday. David Beckencourt Aquarium famously coined the term fish fam. Basically a celebrity. Magic 21 Mom, it is in the description right below. Uh, this may or may not be it. I hope that that's it, but that may be it. Uh, work keeps me occupied like crazy. Yeah, I don't know how that goes. Uh, Bracken is here. Hey, my guys. Hey, Bracken, how you doing? Link in description. Yep, I'm skinny dipping the 800-gallon hot tub. Let me know when you want to play later. Um, pretty soon. Gone Mad says, I got stickers. All right. <laughs> Two dollar super chat. Thank you, Gone Mad. Congratulations on your stickers. Uh, Swisky, ooh, I'm telling Corey. I'm sure he probably knows. Uh, no one wants to know that. Uh, Flint's Fish Forum says, "How am I tonight? I'm doing well. I am almost completely not sick anymore. Still just lingering around. Two jobs is for the birds. I agree." I agree. We all miss you too, David. Thanks for the link. I hope that was the right link. Because uh, I just linked uh, a very questionable video in Jimmy's Facebook group. So I hope that was the right link. Oops, I lost chat again. Uh, I guess I could look real quick. I will just double check. Oops. Control V, not Control C. Yep, that's the right link. All right. All right. Hi, Candy. Barbara. Hello, Barbara says, Hi, Candy. Jimmy, what do y'all watch last night? Well, after video plays, it goes to Aqua Pros. Alan Fish eats live crabs. Bob and Jimmy are going to skinny dip in the 100 gallon later. Um, there's probably not enough super chats in the world to make that happen. Uh, 
please let my girlfriend know it's okay to have more than five fish tanks. It is okay to have as many fish tanks as you want. I bought two pike cichlids and two baby Texas cichlids. Um, my pike cichlid is awesome. I absolutely love pike cichlids now. TJ Snyder, how you doing? My discuses, my discus have laid eggs four times tonight, being the fourth. They keep eating them. They'll they'll get it figured out eventually, uh, but you may have to you may have to separate them. Uh, Magic Twenty One Mob says, "Will there be PUBG to relax to tonight?" Yes, definitely some PUBG action tonight on the other channel, which I think is also in the description. Speaking of birds, they are being so loud at the butt crack of dawn. I like it though. Nothing like a nice sunny morning with the birds chirping. That cool, crisp morning air. Uh, I don't know who Swiskey's talking to, but he says, Buy Millennium Rainbows. I agree. That is just excellent advice to anyone. Uh, Andrew Knox, hello. Oh, and boo and hundreds of snails. Yeah. It's uh doing pretty good. I keep watching it. I think the trick is not to watch it. I shouldn't watch it. Uh, have as many tanks as you want to take care of. Yep, absolutely. The pikes are so cool. I agree. Uh, next, I want to get some dwarf pikes, though. Hmm, whose discus died? Uh, hey Bob, do you think fluorite is a bad substrate for panda quarries? Nope, I don't think fluorite or eco-complete is a bad substrate. For quarries, sorry to hear man, sounds expensive. Oh David, <laughs> my discus died yesterday, shaking my head, I'm so mad, yep. Yep, discus are so finicky, I will never ever ever own discus. I need a 40 breeder for my fry. Dollar per gallon sale. It's going on right now. But you have to go to Petco. Not Petco. You have to go to PetSmart and see if they'll price match. Uh, that's what I do. I still get them for $40 at PetSmart. What is the orange fish in the upper right? Uh, it is an Epistogramma uh, Cockatoides Orange Flash. Orange Flash. Or just, uh, just Google Episto Orange Flash. Wait, is it the orange one or is it super red? Oh, so the one in the middle is the uh, super red, and the one on the right, uh, if Charles is here, he's still here, can tell you. I always forget the name. That is a fish I had like five years ago, and I can never remember the name, and Charles always has to say. It's a killie fish. Mm, which is it? Hmm. Uh, Quinn Mallory says, howdy, Bob, did I miss the favor? Uh, the favor is just to check out the video in the description. It is one of my older videos, uh, and it's doing fairly well right now. I know it's a killie fish, dude. I didn't have I didn't have the live stream open, just the chat. Both are cool fish. I'm sure someone wanted to know what the middle one was too. Uh, Cheryl says, watch, shared, liked, commented, great video. Thank you. Howdy, Bob. Did I miss? Oh, I already got that one. Uh, Barbara says, my tanks make my hubby nervous because of our hardwood flooring. So he's taking, you know, he's talking about building an insulated fish room shed with electrical and plumbing. That's awesome. Yes, the Austral, I call it the Australia because Austral, Austral, I don't even know what that is. But yes, that is the one. <sighs> yep, yep, Jimmy is right. Charles is right. Sounds like Barbara's gonna have a uh, noodle eggs. Yeah, sounds like Barbara's gonna have a fish room soon, a fish shed. Jeff Rose fish keeping with the ten dollars super chat. What up, Bob? What up, fish fam? I had one video take off over the last couple weeks. It's just under eleven thousand views. Also, just fed all of the pleco tank zucchini for the first time. They love it. Yes, Jeff Rose, is is that still your fish your fishing video that's taken off? I swear. If you guys know anything about fishing, make fishing videos because fishing videos on YouTube go nuts. Absolutely nuts. Look at like every fishing channel has like 100,000 subscribers. It's ridiculous. Um, know much about cell fin plecos? Um, 
That is a Pleco that I wish they wouldn't sell. Uh, I got a huge one today. It's right up there with the common Pleco in my eyes. Um, in fact, just the fact that it's um, gets a lot bigger than people think they do. Life with life with fish uh, is building a fish room in the summer too. That is awesome. Yes, the fishing video from a year ago. Yeah, I'm telling you, fishing videos are ridiculous. Bob, can dwarf neon rainbows and angels go together? It just so happens that I keep my dwarf neon rainbows with my angel fish. Uh, that being said, I have the Leopoldi, which is the I believe the smallest species of angel fish. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'm sure Charles will correct me, but. I am pretty sure that the Leopoldi are the smallest, but they do, they do, uh, <laughs> Flynn, Flynn is never here. He just comes and goes for like seconds at a time. Uh, yes, Flynn, I need you to watch the video in the description, leave a comment, like, uh, if you want, you don't have to, it's just a favor. Uh, you see them new frogs, uh, are they on Instagram? Yeah, self in plecos are huge. Uh, hi, Bob. I have Priscilla Tetra that looks full of eggs. How long can she hold them? Um, it shouldn't be that long. Most Tetras uh, don't hold their eggs for that long, but, but I've never bred them or tried to breed them. But uh, hold on, I'm trying to look up this picture. I'm assuming you posted them on here. Maybe you didn't. I guess not. Nope, you didn't. Unless you're talking about the red ones, but we've already talked about those. Uh, is it just fish talk tonight? It is never just fish talk on Thursday. Thursday is just a hangout. That is it. We talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. Uh, Charles says, you're right, Leopoldi are the smallest described species of angelfish. That is awesome. Watch the video, although I'm playing it in the background on mute. That's all that matters. That's all you got to do. Um, only watch it once, though, because it won't count if you watch it a bunch of times. Alpha Aquarium says, BBA tips, Excel, or Peroxide. I will always go, always go with Peroxide because Excel is very nasty stuff. Um, I will never have that stuff in my fish room again. Sorry, I failed. They are still adjusting. That is all right. How do you sell your fish? I just got into breeding bettas, and I'm having a bit of trouble figuring out how to sell them. Um, I only sell guppies, shrimp, and plecos to my local fish store. So you have to establish a relationship there if that's how you want to go. Um, otherwise, you're going to have to probably sell online and ship. Uh, just watched your favorite video. I really like the opening with the rainbow fish popping out of the popcorn. Oh, I forgot about that one. Opening line is, this is going to be really cool or really lame. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, my dwarf neons have a tank to themselves, but I ordered 12 pygmy quarries, I think. Um, the pygmaeus, they might get picked on by the rainbows. They are actually pretty small, but they might, they might do all right. I have a video that I posted earlier. It shows him cleaning if you want to check it out. Uh, New Frog Saturday, Expo Saturday. So uh, I still got about five weeks to go before my Reptile Expo. Because you mentioned the tunnels under Denver. Can you explain a little bit more about it? Uh, it's just the underground tunnels that they've, they've been digging out for a long time. There's... Um, probably a, a dumb under there too I would assume just by the amount of dirt that they've digged out of there but yeah um LWP and LWF are here Michael's fish room is here life yeah life with pets and life with fish <laughs> life with what else anything else <laughs> Uh, getting a new plant tomorrow. Should I get Java Moss or Java Fern? Java Fern. Absolutely Java Fern. But I am biased because I hate Java Moss. Last live show, you told me that white clouds were not good in, in, were not a good option against other opinions. What would you suggest then? I, I think that you had the five-gallon tank, if I remember right. Um, honestly, I would do 
like a single betta or shrimp. Um, five gallons is just not, uh, I don't know. I'm not really a fan of the five gallon tanks, but it is good for like a betta or really good for shrimp. And shrimp are really, really fun to watch and really entertaining. Uh, Denver tunnels, if you Google the Denver airport construction, you will find out all the info available. Yeah, that's kind of a really messed up place. Um, life with my big Italian family. All right. Oh, Donna K. Morgan is here. Hello. I'm trying to re aquascape with found driftwood. George Farmer, I am not. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I don't think many people are. Uh, Taylor says, Bob. Taylor. <laughs> Uh, Kenny Linky, my Patreon. Thank you. Thank you. You guys make it a thing. Make it a thing. I have shrimp and Liberty Mollies in my five gallon. Liberty Mollies. Interesting. Uh, thanks, Quinn Mallory, for the info about the tunnel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you Google it, you'll find lots of interesting stuff. Uh, growth rate on Texas cichlids. I would imagine they're pretty fast. Pretty fast. Most Central American fish or cichlids, I feel, grow pretty quick. Shrimp are the roaches of the fish world. That may be true, but they're still pretty cool. Um, David says hello to Taylor! Exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. I'm going to go work playing this in the background. Yell at me if you need me. All right, Michael's Fish Room. I always need you, buddy. Uh, that's one thing I've never had is shrimp. Uh, I plan to order fish when the weather gets better yeah definitely don't be ordering fish on the east coast uh you guys are still getting slammed with snow but i think uh shrimp are awesome life with pets says that's a beautiful tank behind you yep that is from as it says over there in the corner occasional aquatics um one of my favorite plants the high grow right there in the center with some uh Looks like Rotala, Rotundifolia probably, Wisteria, and Lugwidia right behind my head, and some a flowering Anubius. See the flower sticking up right there? It's pretty neat. Uh, Bob, how about growth rate on pike cichlids? They were impulse buys super fast, super fast. My pike cichlid is growing really, really fast. Hold at the post office. Yes, that's always a good idea. Um, luckily, my post office just knows, so I don't have to have like any special instructions. They just see a box and call me, which is nice. Bob, okay, I got that one that I forgot to mention. The mollies are fry. <laughs> I wasn't gonna. I. I wasn't gonna say anything. Uh, Aqua Pros got scorpion shrimp. Pure black. Look awesome. Yeah, that guy's kind of, he's all over the place. Mike's Mike's pretty cool, dude. I can't wait to get some. They are super cute. Would love to see that. Yeah, they are nice plants. Yep, yep. Yeah, that, that high grow is one of my favorite, favorite plants. Oh, okay. You guys want to know what's interesting. Uh, Racing Natural Aquarium says, cold and super windy in upstate New York. So, this is just something interesting that I was looking at the other day. Um, since I started demonetizing my live streams, I think it's been like a month and a half or two months. Like, if you go and look at my views, and this is where like YouTube came out and said that they don't favor monetized videos over demonetized videos. Because uh, I used to get like 1,500 to 2,000 views on my live streams. Uh, but since I demonetized them, I don't, e I don't even get it like 1,000. So there's definitely some shenanigans going on there. I don't believe them at all. Can you link my gaming channel? That's where we will be later tonight. Just bought my lemon. Been challenged. Jeff Rose Fish Keeping with another super chat. $5. How do you do that, Bob? Uh, the hold at the post office thing. Uh, that's something that the shipper has to uh, do. So you have to tell the shipper to when they ship it to say hold at post office. Or if you know you have the tracking number, uh, you can go to the USPS website and change delivery to hold or uh, yeah hold at the post office. Um, I just have ordered so many fish um, that they 
just no. Like I'm I've never put that on there. Um I don't even know how they got my phone number, to be honest. But like one day I got this random call, like the second time I ordered fish, and they're like, Hey, your fish are at the post office. We figured you'd rather come pick them up than have them out, you know, on the truck in the hot sun all day. And I was like, That's cool. And now ever since then they just called me. Come to think of it, I really have no idea how they got my phone number. Bob, what filters would be good for a 40 breeder? Hmm. It kind of depends. So I like sponge filters and actually, you know, like a hang on bag is probably the most common on a 40, 40 gallon tank. Um, and then depending on what you stock it with would be dependent on the size that you get. Uh, what do you do besides fish tanks? Uh, well, I have dogs. I have a couple reptiles. Um, go shooting every once in a while. Have my gaming channel. All kinds of stuff. Life with Fish says, I've just subbed to Racing's Natural Aquariums. That is awesome. <sighs> About 30. Wait, what happened? I think I missed a comment. It will be coming soon. Just editing. Hmm. I uh, love sponge, sponge filters. So underrated. Yeah, the only thing I don't like sponge filters for, like, exclusively is uh, planted tanks. Because unless you use, like, a power head, you just don't get enough uh, water circulation for plants off of a sponge. Uh, what reptiles do you got? I have a crested gecko and I have a carpet python. An Irian Jaya carpet python female, to be exact. What air pump would you recommend for a sponge filter for a 40 breeder? Uh, the Tetra Air Whisper. Those are by far my favorite air pumps. The Tetra Whisper air pumps. Um, you can look them up on Amazon or just Google them and get the appropriate sized one. Uh, I don't remember what model it is for a 40 breeder, but it'll say there. Victor says, Bob the Fishman, peace. Later, my friend. Woohoo, reports are done. Uh, Racing says, just added a 3D background and just added a few more rocks to give more hiding spots, so hopefully the next month. Racing, was it you that told me that they were doing the, the $20 backgrounds? Because I did not get the $20 background deal. <laughs> oh, interesting. I have a Honduran milk snake. Uh, the Honduran milk snakes are awesome. I kind of want a hognose snake at some point, too. I'm Well, let's be real. There's like hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of animals I want at some point. You put your number on the live stream. You said the interview. Uh, I, I did. I have put my number on the live stream. I put my address on the live stream on accident. Uh, it happens. What are you going to do? Uh, see you later, Nisi. I need to get a quieter pump. I'm so sick of having to unplug my pump every time I film. I'm telling you, I get the Tetra Air Whisper and the really good ones. So the new models are blue, um, which are still probably the best, but they're not as good as the older black ones. If you can find the older black ones, like at fish swap meets or you know club meetings, it's the old black ones that are super quiet. Bracken says, I really want a hog nose snake too. Yeah, they're so awesome. Donna K. Morgan says, I'm setting up 40 breeders too, and I got a 60 gallon for one side and a 20 gallon on the other side. Awesome. Gaga, ain't that the truth? Hmm? Lady Gaga? What? Hmm. Uh, David said, Jeff, thanks, man. Means a lot. Glad you enjoyed my content. I forgot to plug in my pump out all the wait i forget to plug my pump uh, i forget to plug my pump out all the time so there's noise always in my videos oh you forget to um what i forget to do is plug them back in after i'm done filming which really sucks i did bomb her not to be almost perfect ends just of the silicone it was 40 bucks plus shipping yeah I, I, I emailed Jay and I was like, dude, I want all those $20 backgrounds. He's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I was like, someone's messaging, messaging or posting saying you got all these $20 backgrounds. I want them all. 
And he's like, they're $40 plus shipping. And I was like, oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, my electric blue Lucaras are getting pretty big. Uh, those are really nice looking fish. Uh, the light brown hog nose. Yeah, like the... Uh, I know which one you're talking about. Bob, your water bottle is green. Uh, it's blue, so it's not all the way see-through. Uh, but it's kind of like a light blue. Uh, that's true, Mr. B. I don't worry about the fish room noise. Talk loud. It's a fish room. Yep. Yep. Uh, why don't you like Excel? Uh, Excel is... is um, it's very poisonous. It's very bad for you to get on your skin. Um, it's a carcinogen, like a crazy carcinogen. Uh, and it's just really bad for you. I think I think it was Gary Lang that was talking about it. Like uh, when he used to use it for his job, like they made them go in like a full rubber bodysuit to handle uh, the active ingredient. So... Uh, hmm. Interesting. I guess we'll have to fix that right now. Give me a second. That is very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, Excel can mess up some rainbow eggs, I think, or maybe it was quarry eggs, but I'm pretty sure it was rainbows. Yeah, they could, Excel will kill really sensitive fish too. What were you saying? Something about not getting it on your skin? It is very, very bad for your skin. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here with Kayla, but... That was very interesting. Um, do you know about directed energy weapons? I, there, I don't know that there is a conspiracy theory that you can tell me that I don't know about, to be honest with you. Uh, busy you, what's happening? Hey, my high plecos. Hello, I was very busy. Yep. Thank you're in the clear. Yeah, no one got banned, right? Just timed out? Timed out. Uh, message deleted. Yeah, that was really weird. Excel is a Microsoft program. Uh, Excel is a Microsoft program that is also poison. <laughs> um, boy, Kayla just came in here and swooped down the hand of justice for no reason. I'm wondering if that was really her. We're about to find out, though. All right, back to the show. Dink is gone. He's a ghost now. He'll be back in five minutes. Just a couple minutes now. Not banned. Just timed out. Not sure why. Uh, yeah, hit Mr. B's. Hit Dink's. Um, I'm just wondering if maybe her account was hacked. Life with fish. Life with fish. I have seven, three large ones, seven small ones, and a large goldie. Dank, you need to come back to life. Dank says he's here. Oh, uh, what's happened? Uh, you know, I don't know. You start talking about all these conspiracy theories, and now all kinds of strange things are happening on my live stream. Just saying. Yeah, that does seem kind of suspicious, out of character. Yeah, not saying anything. Um... Finding out right now. Uh, 
Uh, I said, is that you my live stream? She said, yeah, I just stepped away for like two minutes. Well, you just timed out like 50 people. Gotta exaggerate a little. <sighs> okay, I just set up a 75 gallon aquarium and I don't know what I should put in there. Um, wait, I don't know what I should put in it. Do you have, what do you, are you asking what I put in it? Rainbow fish. Uh, <laughs> Chris with the $4.20 super chat says free dank. Uh, Taylor does hate Nazi mods, but this is something else going on. Um, any problem keeping Dwarf Garami and Peacock Gudgeon together? Hmm. I don't think I would see any problems there. Um, they occupy different areas of the aquarium, so you should be all right. That is so weird. 100 people got timed out. Yeah, is there even 100 people in here? <laughs> Uh, Bob, read my comments. Just an accident, I'm sure. I'm talking. I'm talking to her right now. <sighs> Bob, do you wait? Bob, do you do you want me to stop talking about stuff? Then <laughs> no, I don't care. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, Dank Tanks is back. He's free. Just say four twenty, Bob. Why fight it? Uh, because it's four dollars and twenty cents. To say 420, it would have to be $420. <laughs> oh, of course that message went through. <laughs> uh, people hit the like button. Yes, hit the like button. Back to driving. Pulled over because Kayla's awesome. Yep. Once I see her chat in here, maybe. Uh... Well, either way, it'll get fixed. Uh, does she have a cat? <laughs> uh, Aquarium, my next buy would be a purple spotted gun grudgeon. Uh, Jeremy, what's up? Oh, did I miss Jeremy? I saw, I, I saw Sergeant Tank. I didn't even say anything. Tank had it coming. He has a reputation for himself for banning people out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you. Loved by few, hated by one. How was the dark side, Dank? Uh, we've all been there. We've all been there. 420 cents. Um, she's back. Remember, it's Aquatic Ma now. Yeah, that's how I know it was Kayla. That's How do you think Aquatic Ma is timing everyone out? I better message her. Clearly, I know who it is. But thanks, Candy. I'm not trying, I'm not trying to make fun of you. I'm just laughing at you. <laughs> with you. With you. Uh, hey, Jeremy, hello, hello, hello. Everyone's saying hello to Jeremy. Uh, it was an accident. Dank, her son did it. Did she comment yet so I can, like, fix it? Oh, there it is. Sorry, y'all, that was my two-year-old son. I had to step away for a second. And we will fix that. We had a rogue mod. Mr. B's fishing things with the two dollar and seventy nine cent super chat was that a probe? <laughs> yes. Yep. Uh, it is a good question. Sub Jeremy, you can laugh at me. It's all good. Uh, I'm sure you should be used to it by now, right? Uh, what else do we got going on here? Uh, maybe on my birthday. Maybe on my birthday there, Taylor. Ah, <sighs> dang. Smiley face, what's up, Sergeant Tank? Everyone saying hi to Jeremy. Spank tanks. <laughs> uh, Mile High Plecos was timed out by Priscilla. Oh boy, we got another one going here. Very funny. Things are getting out of control. I happen to know that they are IRL friends, so I'm sure they're just funning each other. Uh, got my pea puffer and a four wait and four long fin panda quarries. I hope that they're able to keep their long fins with your pea puffers. Uh, do corridor is hybridize? I'm sure it's certainly possible. 
Uh, am I late? What does Bob need? I need nothing. David says, Taylor, no dirty talk. Ooh, Taylor got in trouble. Oh, man. Taylor, that's going to get me started. Uh, so whiskey, whiskey. TC Guppies with the $5 super chat. Five, ba five bucks because your background tank is a guppy tank. Uh, that is an excellent reason for a $5 super chat. Thank you very much. Uh, I haven't used this background in a very long time, so I'm glad at least you appreciate it. And I'm sure Occasional Aquatics appreciates it too. Oh, Priscilla swinging the wrench, not in the same tank. Dodge this. Yep. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a dodgeball. Uh, what else we got going on? I mean, uh, Jimmy, did you ever get my text? Jimmy, did you ever get my text? So streamy, never forget. My four-year-old and I are watching National Lampoon's Vacation with Chevy Chase. You didn't have to clarify that for one thing because National Lampoon's Vacation is amazing. Although Christmas Vacation is my favorite. Um, I mean, really, they're all good. I wasn't, even Vegas is all right. It's certainly the worst out of all of them, but. Uh, how are the dogs doing, Bob? Well, we got some sad news there, potentially sad news. Seraph, I uh, had to make an appointment for Seraph. She's going to the vet tomorrow because some lumps have returned. Um, so cross your fingers that, you know, they're just cysts or something like that. Um, oh, what is this? Uh, I don't hear talk, and I won't have anything to say. Sorry, Bob. Keeps my mind in the gutter. Oh, geez. I knew I shouldn't have read that one. Uh, jamming to that No Roots song. Hmm. Uh, yes, it was me if it was about Photoshop. <laughs> Jimmy, just heard you coming back to Minnesota for a bit. Sergeant Tank with the $2 super chat for the guppies that like to humpies. Oh, now Sergeant Tank. Now there's... Now... Man, we got 15 minutes to go, too. This might really get off the rails. Uh, awesome day. Finally got to meet my brother from another mother. Yeah, you excited, TC? Uh, oh, no. I hope the poor doggo is going to be okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll find out tomorrow. Uh, racing absolutely broke. Can't wait. Oh, yeah. Taking time off work now. Uh... What kind of dog is your dog? Uh, the dog I'm taking to the vet tomorrow is a Husky Shepherd mix. Lisa says, I'm sorry about your pup. I just lost mine recently. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Uh, Nisi, and definitely sorry um, about losing your puppy. I couldn't even imagine ever losing mine. And I never will. I'm going to live forever. Nisi with a $5 super chat says, Give Seraph extra hugs and treats from the of the north clan from of the north clan makes more sense to me <laughs> uh bob i have six zebra danios and three quarry cats in my 10 gallon tank can i add more fish like tetra fish hmm well your zebra danios might be a little too rambunctious for tetras but i mean you could try Uh, Bob, are you going to Jersey in October? No, I'm going in November. November. But yes, I'll absolutely be at the Aquatic Experience this year and probably every year for a while. Uh, Ed's Fish says, hey, new guys, Bob put a link to the to a description of his video that is going viral. Well, it's not going viral, uh, but it is doing well. Uh, give it a view and a like. Thank you, Ed's Fish. I appreciate it. I should have probably mentioned that again since I haven't mentioned it in about 40 minutes. There is a video that has been picked up a little bit um, over the last day. The link is in the description. If you could watch it, I would appreciate it. Comment, like, things like that. Barbara Jackson says, I'm making lamb, cho lamb chops tonight. I haven't had them in a long time. I couldn't even tell you the last time I had lamb chops. It's been a really long time. Uh, the AE is in October. Well, I guess I'm going to be in New Jersey in November by myself. Uh, sure, whenever it is, that's when I'm going. 
Uh, you aren't driving? No, I'm not driving. What would I put in a 20 gallon fit? Uh, gal what would I put in a 20 gallon tank? I would put in rainbow fish. Uh, well, fish video viral. No, more like uh, steam fought aquatics viral. It got a couple thousand views. <laughs> it's going viral for me, right? It's all relative. All about DIY. Hey, buddy. Hey, Bob. What's happening? Uh, had an earthquake today in Southern California. No fish tanks were harmed. It's kind of the normal thing for you guys down there, isn't it? Lamb chop sounds good. I haven't had a good meal since I've been sick. Anything sounds good right now. The video is going viola. Yep, it's going viola. Uh, a is, AE is in New Jersey, literally on the other side of the country. Maybe I'll just settle with driving to the Reptile Expo in Monroe for my birthday and maybe see Big Steen there. Uh, I will be there, but honestly, from what I've heard, Turtle Girl, it's probably not worth the drive. Um, if people need a place to crash when they're going to New Jersey, fishy thing, hit me up, have a room for like five people. Uh, just don't pet the bob. Hmm, yeah, I don't know if I want internet weirdos staying with me. Just saying. <laughs> uh, hello, how's it going? It's going pretty well. Multiple aquariums. Uh, Chipotle, what? Yep, it's in Michael's home state. Uh, as uh, Chris likes to say, the armpit of America. Should be interesting, though. I've never been to... That's a state I've never been to. Hopefully, we'll make it over to New York as well, as I've never been there. Uh, oh, man, that sucked. I just spent the last few minutes crying in the corner in the fetal position. <laughs> that was a long five minutes. Bob, steak flatbread with caramelized onion provolone and parm cheese. Um... I agree with everything except for the cheese. <laughs> uh, I know I went to the expo last year, but better to go look at snakes that I can have than just sit at home watching YouTube videos for my birthday. Well, that's probably true. That's probably true. Uh, wait, what about you, me, Chris, and Vic? Uh, I mean, we're all going to be there. Steven says, can we have a Corydoras video, please? Uh, I am, it is on the plate. Uh, I know you asked me before, well, if it wasn't you, it was someone else. Um, but I'm just waiting for an opportunity to take good video of them. I don't have really any good, like, tanks that would look good on film right now. Uh, dude, Alamoka Fish Store sucks. All the fish are sick in my way, shape, or in some way, shape, or form. It's a mess. My only option is online stores. Such a bummer. Washington is where it's at. I need to move. Um, not really. I mean, in the whole state, there's only maybe like three good fish stores. Uh, I got three Amazon puffers today with an opportunity for more Saturday. Should I get a few more? Uh, 55 gallon, six quarry, six auto currently. Um, I would say you could probably get three more max. David Beckencourt's Aquarium says, Dank, are you going to Jers? Jers? Ben Feta says, 150 a.m. here. Well, thanks for hanging out early in the morning. Turtle Girl says, uh oh, low battery. You only got to make it nine more minutes. Nine more minutes. Where you at, Ben? It's 1.51 a.m. here, Life with Fish says. Bracken says, all about DIY. It's pretty nice here, especially if you're near Seattle, as there's Aquarium Co-op and Aquarium Zen. And there's that new one in Bellevue that I haven't been to, but it's supposed to be like an ADA store. So uh, I don't bother going to it because it's in Bellevue, which means it's going to be super overpriced. But it's supposed to be pretty nice. Oh, there are at least five good stores in Washington. Yeah, I mean it depends. I guess it. I guess it depends on what you mean by nice. Where is the check and balance for mod power? Need an ego check. Um, we had one about three weeks ago, and we purged about half my mods. <laughs> it wasn't an ego check though. Uh, I don't know if I trust that guy. My dog had surgery yesterday. She had her eye removed. Eight weeks old, and a prosthetic. Uh, her eyelids hadn't reduced as a vet hoped, so surgically reduced it so it would be the same 
as well that sounds like a lot of stuff for an eight month old puppy to go through janice um heart pulse what uh man i hate this bad internet uh apparently your internet is good to time out a bunch of people <laughs> King Lee says it's still snowing in Minnesota. Yeah, it's snowing a lot of places. David got purged. That's because you don't show up ever. This is the first time you've been here all year, David. <laughs> um, v Stag with the New Jersey AE18 hashtag. Uh, 119 watching, 87 likes. Come on, fish fan. Bob is awesome. Thank you, Jeff Rose. No fish tours in PA. Thankfully, I live really close to Rachel. Uh, there's that one huge fish store in PA that I want to go to, uh, one of these days, like huge fish store. I'm not saying it's good just cause it's big, but I still want to check it out. Um, I want snow, not rain. Let it snow. Yep. We had snow here, turtle girl Monday morning. Uh, but by noon it was like sunny and 50. So only in the morning. David says, for all dealing with snow, it's 80 down here. Uh, on another note, my big tank is finally up and running, so that's a plus. Plus, I have a bunch of nice stock that's in quarantine at the moment. Well, the fish you want, it's probably way better to order online from anyways. There's Aquarium Co-op, Aquarium Paradise. I've actually never been there, which is more salt water. That's probably why I've never been there. Uh, Zen Aquarium Solutions, which is Barbie store. Uh, and then there is one more in Renton. Uh, yep, I've never been to that Aquarium Solutions either. But I'd imagine it's pretty nice. Uh, later, Trevor. Don't be mad. Oh, is Trevor leaving? Priscilla. All right, I'm out, guys. Have a good night, everyone. See you on the flip-flop. Thank you, Mile High Plecos. Good to see you, as always. Uh, does anyone know where I can get some scissor tail rasboras? Uh, the only place I could recommend is Aquabid or the Wet Spot Tropical Fish in Portland, Oregon that does ship. Uh, David Beck and Quartz Aquarium says, I need fish. Don't we all? I find it weird the aquatic experience doesn't come to Florida. Uh, well, it's not like oh, it's, it's not like it's rotating. It's been in Chicago forever. Uh, started in Seattle. Um, it started in Seattle. Then it went to Chicago. Maybe it went somewhere else. I think it was in California for a minute. But I think they're tired of Chicago, as everyone should be. Uh, that's true. So for aquatics, I need to hit the cichlid shack or something along those lines. Yep. Uh, don't forget Alan over at cichlidlovers.com. He has really nice stuff. Let's see where I get most of my Tanganyikans. Uh, my balls are turning brown and dying. And my moss balls. Barbie store is more of an order and pickup. Not as many people in Spokane that spend tons of money on fish. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured it'd be kind of a smaller store, but... We won't hit the 90s till like August. Uh, what's my favorite movie? Pfft, that's impossible to say. Um, I don't have like an absolute favorite movie. Uh, that's way too complicated. Tommy X says, see you later, everyone. Yep, we got five more minutes to go. Isn't Florida like the tropical fish capital of the U.S.? Um, if anything, it's like the saltwater capital. Maybe California? Uh, I live in PA, and the huge fish store is overrated. Only have the most common fish. Uh, really? It's still probably cool to check out. I mean, all of our fish stores here are, like, under a 1,000 square feet. So it would still be kind of cool to see, I guess. Uh, Neil Lamperloga Similis. Why are they hard to find? Because they are Lake Tanganyika fish, and all Lake Tanganyika fish are hard to find. Uh, Anchorman is not even close to the top of my list. AE should be in Colorado, middle of the country, as long as it was right by the airport. 2% got to go charge, charge or find a charger. See you later. Thanks for the live stream. Thanks, Turtle Girl. Reef is this weekend in Orlando. Oh, I love my PA and the huge fish store. Oh, I already got that one. Maybe for fish farms. Yeah. Florida is where all the fish farms are. Definitely. Uh, saltwater like crazy here. All the LFS stores are saltwater. I yeah, I would imagine that California and uh, Florida are both probably like that. Definitely Florida though. I think the U.S. is the capital of the tropical fish world. Mm, I don't know. Like I think you could probably make arguments for Germany, for China, for Japan. 
Um, I need an online store that has some Victorians. I want to start a 40 breeder with two to three species. Uh, I did Victorians for a while, and while they were cool, they are impossible to get rid of in our area, Bracken. If you have Victorians and you breed them, and unless you want to ship them, like you can't even give them away. It took me, it took me months to give my Victorians away. Uh, hey, 91 degrees here in Phoenix, and our fish store selection sucks, which is a bummer. Uh, you got a nice um, African cichlid man down there, though. If you're into that sort of thing, uh, what did I read here? Something about a fish store in Staten Island. Um, there it is. There's a really cool fish store in Staten Island, New York. Yep. I definitely want to hit up New York when I go. Bob, what is the best liquid fertilizer? So it depends on what you're doing. Uh, for low tech, I would just go with Easy Green. For high tech, um, probably like Thrive Plus, I think it is. Uh, bald and dangerous. Dougie says, thanks for the live stream, Bob. Got to run. It's 1 a.m. in the morning uh, in Scotland. So 99, catch you later. Thanks. Uh, oh, wait. Got a busy day today. Well, thank you, Doug. Good to see you as always. I got a buddy that will take my VIX. He lives within 20 minutes of Corvus. Uh, yeah, there is a guy, um, a young gentleman that took mine that's like up about 20 minutes north of me. Uh, so that was nice. And he's got his own fish room up there. Um, not who you're thinking of, though. Uh, night peeps, bald and dangerous. Yes, it is 6 o'clock. So, as always, we have to go here and thank these people for keeping the live stream ad free. Mr. Speaker Guy Gone Mad, Jeff Froze Fish Keeping, Jeff Froze Fish Keeping again. Chris Jobs Aquarium Tanks, Mr. B's Fish and Things, TC Guppies, Sergeant Tank Pets, Nisi. Uh, we all appreciate it. Um, and obviously, thanks for everyone that was here. Uh, and also, oh, let's check on the video real quick. Did we make a dent in this video? Did we make a dent? It's loading. It's thinking. All right, last 60 minutes. 120 views, so that's pretty good. 2,100 views now in the last day. So, yeah. Hopefully, when people re-watch this, they will click on that link down there. But, uh, anyways, we will be on the gaming channel. There it is. Candy linked it. Hopefully, I can sweet-talk Jimmy on to coming on there. Uh, maybe Raw from Flip Aquatics will come on there and we'll have some fun. Uh, otherwise, we will be here 5 p.m. Monday, 5 p.m. Thursdays. As always, if they are scheduled or not, they are always on. So thanks everyone for hanging out, and I'll see everyone Monday.